Hi students! Welcome back to Maestrang Teki YouTube channel! It's already week 3 in our grade 9 science quarter 2 lesson. Today's video lesson is the continuation of our week 2 lesson. If you haven't watched our week 2 lesson about chemical bonding, you may click the link in the description box below. Our topic for today is about formation of ions. At the end of this video lesson, you are going to explain how ions are formed. So, please keep on watching! Let us start. Let us define first what ions are. Ions are simply charged atoms. They are neither positive nor negative, meaning they do not have charge because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Next, how are ions formed? Ions are formed as atoms gains or lose electrons. Metals tend to lose electrons because they have low electronegativity. Take note class that electronegativity is the ability of the atom to attract electrons. When an atom loses electrons, it will form a positively charged ion and it is called cations. For example, sodium is a metal element that tends to lose one valence electron. It will form a positively charged sodium ion or a cation. Ion. Next, nonmetals tend to gain electrons because they have higher electronegativity. Remember that the higher the electronegativity, the higher it is to attract or gain electrons. When an atom gains electrons, it will form a negatively charged ion called an ion. For example, chlorine. Chlorine is a non-metal element. It can gain an electron from a metal element such as sodium to form a negatively charged chlorine ion. Take note class, the number of electrons an atom gains or loses is its valence. So, it is important that you know how to get the number of valence electron or the electrons in the outermost shell. But don't worry, you can determine the number of valence electron by simply looking at the group number in the periodic table of elements. Take note of this image. Again class, metal atoms tend to lose electrons and form a positively charged ion called cation. Non-metal atoms tend to gain electrons and form a negatively charged ion called an ion. How do you assign names for an ion? Unlike a cation which is named for the parent atom, an anion is named by taking the root name of the atom and changing the ending. For example, chlorine ion, taking the root name and changing the ending into, it will now be chloride or chloride ion. Another one is fluorine into fluoride ion. Next, ion charges and the periodic table of elements. We find our periodic table very useful when we want to know what type of ion is formed by a given atom, as shown in your screen right now. Note that the group 1 metals all form 1 positive ions. The group 2 metals all form 2 positive ions. Non-metals, on the other hand, form negative ions by gaining electrons. How do you write chemical formulas with ions? Whenever a compound forms between a metal and a non-metal, it can be expected to contain ions. 
we call these substances ionic compounds. For example, sodium ion is written in this form. Chlorine ion is in this form. Together, it is sodium chloride. Each sodium ion has one positive charge and chlorine ion has a one negative charge. So, they must occur in equal numbers to give a net charge of zero. It is very important to remember that a chemical compound must have a net charge of zero. This means that if a compound contains ions, then there must be both positive ions or cations and negative ions or what we call anions present. And the numbers of cations must be such that the net charge is zero. That is all for our lesson for today. I hope you learned something new about the formation of ions. Do not hesitate to comment down below your questions and clarifications. And if this helped you, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!